Line Monster Energy Kawasaki rider Josh Strang coming off a huge win in round number five. In fact, the only rider in five rounds of racing not named Caleb Russell to do so. Can he keep it going here today? Grand National Cross Country at High Point Raceway begins now on MAV TV. Are you ready to go GMCC Racing? Well, hello again, folks. I'm Mikey Waynes, and this is the Dunlop High Point GNCC here in beautiful Mount Morris, Pennsylvania. High Point Raceway, a track most folks know for pro motocross, but today plays home to the sixth round of racing for Grand National Cross Country. And to get things started, we look at the specialized race recap. And I gotta say, round number five, almost looking identical to round number four. Caleb Russell snagging the whole shot and early lead. 523 and pro Yamaha of Lane Michael there in the number two spot. The teammates Jordan Ashburn and Josh Strang battling for third place early on. And I gotta say this track gave these riders everything they wanted and more. Strang with some trouble right there. Lane Michael able to get around him into the number two spot. And finally, Strang gets the machine going and out right in front of his teammate, Jordan Ashburn. Early on, you might have thought, well, this is one of those races. Caleb Russell's going to check out, but no, not the case. These guys absolutely relentless, refused to let Caleb out of their sights. And eventually it paid off for Josh Strang, able to move up into the number one spot. Caleb Russell right there behind him in second. And I gotta say, this was pretty much how the rest of the day looked. Watching these two battle throughout the rest of the three hour race, a sight to see. Two veteran riders, savvy. They know what it takes to go out there and perform in a three hour GNCC. And it was on display right here. Now keep in mind, coming into this one, Caleb Russell had won all four rounds. Looking for that fifth win. But boy, Josh Strang not going to be denied. Takes his first win of the season and his first win aboard the Babbitts Online Monster Energy Kawasaki. Congratulations to the 114 of Josh Strang. Caleb Russell hanging on to that number two spot. Actually took a nasty, nasty wreck. Uh, so what a finish for him. And after the race, we had a chance to catch up with Josh Strang. Honestly, I think the Georgia race, the track conditions were the best so far. The, set, the first Georgia race. Uh, today, the track was just beat up, man. It was, uh, there was soft holes, the bumps got really big, but then it was, it got kind of dry and hard pack and square edge in some spots too, so you had to be on your toes. And uh, I wouldn't say this was the most fun one, but the wind makes it, makes it fun and a whole lot sweeter. But I did have a good time the last lap and a half where you really had to dig down deep and, and uh, push is when it gets not so fun. Your stomach starts hurting, you start making little mistakes, your elbows drop and you just, you, I think you, you just, your whole body language is uh, just down because you're worn out. I think uh, everyone does that, but uh, man, it's, uh, I'm stoked. Well, Strang making his way to the starting line. And now we'll turn our attention to Rodney Tomlin for that iconic 10 second call. Off and rolling, whole shot award up for grabs courtesy of All Balls Racing. And take a look at that view from the Yamaha Racing Sky Cam. Talk about consistency. Caleb Russell out in front, the 523 Ampro Yamaha of Lane Michael in second place. These guys have absolutely got these starts dialed in. Good clean start for the XC1 Pro guys as they head into the dust, or out of the dust, I should say, and into the woods. And Caleb Russell still out in front, Michael in second. And that is Josh Toth, the 206 KTM in third place. Ben Kelly in fourth. And you gotta ask yourself right now, where is Josh Strang coming off that win? Boy, bad start for Strang right here at the back of the pack. He is certainly gonna have his work cut out for him here today. 
back down to the start line for the start of the XC2 uh, 250 Pro class. Full shot award courtesy of hot cams coming up for these guys. Simon Johnson with the edge, and oh, down goes Thorn Devlin. Thorn Devlin, the rider in second place right there, just washes out. Going to make a, a long, long day for him as he'll now have to start from the back of the pack here, facing kind of the same adversity as Josh Strang there in the XC1 class. How about that? Mike Wachowski on screen right there, the Ampro Yamaha rider out in front. Fantastic start to this 2020 season for him. Has not finished outside of third place all year. You got to go back to round number one uh, where he captured his first win of the season. Can he do some more of the same here today? Going back down to the start line, the FMF XC3 125 Pro-Am class. I know I say it every show, but man, there's just nothing that sounds as good as those 125s. How about it? Get you some. Whole shot award. Chase Colville is that rider out in front aboard the beta machine. Out there doing work right now. And we're off and rolling here at High Point Raceway. Can Caleb Russell return to the number one spot? Can Josh Strang work his way from the back of the pack and make it two in a row? GNCC on Math TV continues after this. Coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. Well, Caleb Russell and Lane Michael still leading the way with. Josh Toth in third, and his teammate Ben Kelly right behind him in the number four spot. So far, this high point GNCC has remained very tight for the front runners, which is good news for that guy right there, Josh Strang. There are few things worse than falling off the pace early. You're unable to key off anybody, and then you start focusing more on the scenarios in your head of where you are rather than the track right in front of you. Makes for a difficult day. So this is good news for Strang. Let's we'll see what he's got in store for these guys now. And into the Monster Mile, a section of the race course that may not be a literal mile, but typically presents enough challenges that it feels like a mile or longer. And boy, a little distance now. Caleb Russell out in front. Lane still in that number two spot. And there goes the distance that Caleb created. Lane Michael now all over the rear wheel of Caleb Russell and these two looking to try and run away with it and just in time. There he is, the 206 KTM of Josh Toth in that number three spot. This has been a solid race for Josh Toth so far. Uh, keep in mind, this is only his third race back of the season. Uh, he's got a fifth place finish in both round four and five. Starts uh, starting to look like Josh Toth finding that groove back at the GNCC. You hear the guys talk about it all the time that come off injuries or in the off season. It doesn't matter what you do off the track. Nothing compares to the pace of race day. So good to see Toth out here doing work today as the camera pans back. And there he is. Speak of the devil, Josh Toth getting the pit board right now, probably telling him, hey, you're this far back from second place. But man, oh, man, fourth and fifth right on your tail behind you. As they come through single file there, Andrew DeLong coming through. And I don't think we saw Strang. There he is. There is Josh Strang. So Strang falling back a little bit, but still a lot of race left here today. As Caleb Russell, your leader, pops in on screen right there past the Wise Co banner. And camera pans back. And boy, how about that lead that Caleb Russell has built? It is still the Ampro Yamaha of Lane Michael. But wow, does he have some serious time to make up right here. We'll see if he can get it done. Into the FMF PowerPoint is Caleb Russell making it look easy out there. We'll see if Lane Michael's still in that number two spot. Boy, and look at the time now. Are you kidding me? Caleb Russell in charge and in control of this one. Finally, Lane Michael pops on screen. 
We got us a good one. Caleb Russell, can he hang on? The defending champ doing work here at the GNCC on MAP TV. Well, the newest addition to GNCC Racing, as many know, is the EMTB race, which honestly should be no surprise as Specialized is the series presenting sponsor. And it seems as if each round of EMTB Racing, it continues to grow. Charlie Mullins on screen right there. The 2019 Pro Champion has literally been a trailblazer in the series. Classes include Pro Class, Women's Class, amateur and youth and i gotta say if you get a chance this season or even next season at the gncc to race the e-bike race do it you won't regret it i promise you there's a guy with few regrets today caleb russell in front of this one controlling the pace of this high point gncc and as the camera pans back we see the 523 and pro yamaha still in second place trying to check track down uh caleb russell right now so far has not been able to do so caleb russell right there moving around a couple of uh riders that are lap traffic another added element to a gncc our pro riders out there on the course the same time as our amateur riders which are a riders b riders so they're good riders but they can determine the race sometimes for some of our pro guys uh, as the race wears on. And how about this? Third place now, Josh Strang. Are you kidding me? The Babbitts Online Monster Energy Kawasaki successfully works his way into the third place position. Strang, a perfect example today of that never give up attitude. Stay poised, stay calm, even with the bad start that Strang had He's got to feel good about this. He knows it's a long race. He knows there's plenty of time to make up ground and make the smart decisions to move up into a podium position. That's where he finds himself right now. Speaking of smart riding, how about Caleb Russell? Are you kidding me? He has absolutely checked out in this one. Caleb riding like a man who's a little salty coming off a second place finish. And how about a Josh String into the number two spot? The 114, boy, he's got a lot of time to make up if he's going to catch up with Caleb Russell, uh, who is in control of this thing. Caleb Russell on screen now as he heads into the VP Racing Fuels Pro Row. Looks like he is going to take a, a pit stop here, probably uh, a splash of gas. And sure enough, that's about it. Splash of gas, some words of encouragement from his wife, Chandler Russell, as he takes his time working through the auxiliary pro pits and still in control of this race. What a fantastic ride Caleb Russell has had today. The seven time GNCC champion putting on a clinic, riding this as if it's his last time he'll throw his leg over a bike in the XC1 class here at High Point. So plenty of racing left in the season, but kind of a not once in a lifetime chance here at High Point, but not somewhere we generally uh, race with the GNCC, so he's got to be feeling good about it. Josh Strang into the pits, and don't blink. He's gone. Splash of fuel for Josh Strang in that number two spot as he heads back out on the track to do battle with Caleb Russell. See if he can catch back up to him. I got to say, Strang in 2020 has absolutely turned back the clock. Winning, obviously, is huge, but you can tell that this season Josh Strang has been having fun all year long and that is so important to a rider's success speaking of success ben kelly this is his first race back since round number one has worked his way into the number three spot and man has he got to feel good about that what a boost for the confidence for ben kelly aboard the number 530 ktm we saw grant baylor back there in the number four spot wow it's got to make you wonder with Ben Kelly, had he rode all season long and been healthy, how well would he be doing right now? We'll never know, but we know that uh, the future of GNCC racing certainly in good hands. There's Josh Strang back on screen as he tries to track down Caleb Russell. Can he make it happen? Can Caleb Russell get back center of the box? GNCC on MAV TV continues after this.
coverage of the 2020 Grand National Cross Country Series on MAV-TV is brought to you in part by Specialized Turbo E-Bikes. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATVMC, get ready. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. High Point Raceway, situated here in the heart of the GNCC Racing Nation. The seven-time GNCC champ himself, Caleb Russell, leading the way in this one. Josh Strang on screen in second. Both riders have worked their tails off today to get where they are. Woo, Strang getting a little squirrely there, but able to keep it on two wheels. Caleb, even with the strong lead, hard on that rev limiter right there around those uh, those lappers and for good reason strang making up a little bit of ground here not sure it's going to be enough to battle for the win but boy what a performance by both riders but uh, again not going to quite be enough as caleb russell in between the hay, hay bales and in through the finish line for win number five on the season congratulations to caleb russell Man, what a fantastic race and performance here today at the High Point GNCC. Yeah, it was um, it's a good race. I wish it would have rained. Uh, it would have, you know, it was already slick, so it might as well have been raining and been slick, you know, not dry and slick. But it was, uh, you know, a little bit dusty out here in the open stuff, but the, the woods were icy, and um, we kept getting a little bit of sprinkles on the one side of the track, and it was just... You know, like a skating rink uh, for the most part, but got a good start. And, you know, I tried to set a good pace and get out there and I started stretching out. And then uh, once we got in the, the lap three, uh, got in those lappers and they just kind of ruined my pace. And um, it was really tough. I, you just catch gobs of guys that are just putting around and clogging the trail up. So it's a little bit, you know, they sucked up onto me pretty quick and um, kind of regrouped and got going again and uh, stretched it back out. But it was uh, it was tough. I had a, you know, a little run in there on the last lap and uh, allowed Josh to really catch up to me and uh, put the pressure on. But I was able to regroup and, um, you know, ride clean the last four miles to uh, bring it home for the win. Well, a big congratulations to Caleb on the fifth win of the year. As we see Josh Strang now coming into the finish line, sealing the deal on that second place finish. Solid ride out of Strang today. It certainly wasn't easy as he had a rough, rough start and had his work cut out for him all day today. You can see the exhaustion in his eyes as he shakes his head. We had a chance to catch up with him down in the Babbitts Online Monster Energy Kawasaki pits. Yeah, I didn't do, any, do myself any favors today. Uh... I don't know, I must have just grabbed a handful of gas there off the start. So my fault, but uh, well, I mean, I, uh, I paid the price. <laughs> so, uh, man, it was, it was crazy dusty in the, in the open sections. Um, the track actually was pretty good once we got out of the open stuff. And once we all spread out, really, the dust wasn't too bad. So, uh, man, I just got stuck behind pretty much everyone for uh, a lap and a half, man. So I was, I thought the day was, I thought I was toast, so uh, it's no good. But I uh, got made some passes, and then some guys crashed consecutive laps in the same spot. So I passed uh, Jordan in a spot. He crashed next lap, laying in exact same, same spot, crashed. So I uh, got a couple of passes there for free, so that was good. And then I uh, just kept, just again, riding my own race, and uh, uh, I felt like I was riding fairly good and caught, got close to Caleb. But uh, uh, he didn't want to lose two in a row, so uh, he would have been tough even if I got any closer. So, uh, I mean, happy with the second and uh, the Babaton line, Monsenji Kawasaki worked good, and uh, we'll, keep, we'll keep plugging away. Well, speaking of plugging away, how about this guy? Ben Kelly finishing third today in his first race back since round one. It's been a long time, you know. I was off the bike for 14 weeks, and... <laughs> It happened during the, the pandemic, so, I, you know, I kind of got lucky with that. Not that it's a good thing, but, uh, yeah, I was off the bike for, for 14 weeks, got back on three weeks ago, and, man, dirt bikes are hard. <laughs> it, uh, you know, when you don't ride them for a long time, you, you just don't realize, come back and just grip strength, everything, but uh, I've been doing all I can, and to come back here and uh, got a pretty good start and was, you know, running up front, just just riding the track, doing the best I could, and uh, 
yeah, just, just stoked to uh, be on the podium. And Grant was making me work for it there on that last lap. They, he was catching me and was right on my wheel, but uh, I just stayed strong. And fortunately, something happened to him. But uh, yeah, just put in a good final lap and come away with third. I'm stoked. <laughs> How about that? Dirt bikes are hard. Ben Kelly. Wow, what a performance today. Welcome back to GNCC Racing, my friend. As we take a look at the top 10 from today, Caleb Russell taking win number five on the season. And boy, tough break for Lane Michael, finishing 10th after such a strong start. And talking about that start, there it is on screen, the specialized race recap. Boy, round number six looking like a carbon copy of round four and five. Caleb Russell out in front, Lane Michael would follow closely behind him for much of the race in that number two spot with Toth in third and Ben Kelly, his first race back again since round number one, doing well. And there you see Strang on screen there. Tough, tough start for him. Heard him talk about how bad that was. Certainly had his work cut out for him. But as the day went on, Caleb Russell would not be denied. He was coming off a second place finish in round five, and I don't think anything was going to hold him back from snagging this win here today, working his way around some lap traffic, and rightfully so, as we mentioned earlier. String was starting to make up some ground on him, but a little too late as uh, this was near the end of the race here, and Caleb Russell able to hang on and capture win number five of the season for him. He sits atop the points lead and in control of this 2020 championship right now. Uh, certainly in Caleb's final season as an XC1 Pro at the GNCC would be a fantastic way to send him off with a championship. And he's certainly in control of that destiny right now. So there you have it, my friends. Caleb Russell snagging win number five here at the GNCC at High Point Raceway. What a fantastic finish. And that's going to do it for us, my friends. Thanks for watching GNCC here on MAV-TV. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.